All right, guys, welcome to day 44 of On Shape. So we have our box, we have the crankshaft, we have our cams, and we have the followers and all parts in here. So as I do these last little pieces of drilling the rest of my holes and getting everything constrained, uh, hopefully you'll be able to follow along. Now, what I'm going to do and what you're going to do will differ a little bit because I'm going to put all of my cams that we've made in here to show how to constrain all of them but you may only need to do two or multiples, and so where my uh, holes go, yours will be different. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my box and crankshaft, and we're gonna go ahead and edit uh, the sketch that was my top part right here. Now you could do a new sketch, but I really like to use uh, my pieces, uh, reuse them as much as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a line that's gonna go all the way through the center here. And that's because that's where my crankshaft is at. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and make this a construction line. And we're gonna have a couple of axles to go through it. So right click, make that circle a construction, or sorry, regular, not a construction. And let's dimension this to be 3 16ths of an inch. Okay, now let's go ahead and do a couple of the commands that will maybe help us out. So I'm going to do go ahead and dimension this side to be 0 0.75. Okay. And then let's see if I can do a linear pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this circle repeat. Oh, I'm going to click on it again. There we go. Linear pattern. That circle repeat. And we're going to want to have six instances in total. There we go. So we got our six holes, but let's make them a distance of 0 0.5 inches away. Now that looks to be a little scrunched up, so let maybe actually can get away with can we do 0 0.75. No, it's too far. So three quarters inch, half inch, so four eighths, five eighths. And that looks okay. All right. And there we go. And that's why I like reusing some of my sketches is because sometimes it'll automatically do what I want it to do. And my holes are in there. Okay, so when I go over my assembly now, boom, our holes are already put into our assembly. Our crankshaft works. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and bring in all of my other parts. Now, if you didn't watch my video about the cams, my cams look a little bit differently based upon what they're used for. So we got the eccentric cam, we got the circle, and I have two types of cams. One is called the assembly version, and that's because all sides of that cam has been rounded off to be one side, if they would have caused me to have problems. And maybe I'll unpack a little bit here in a second about which ones do cause problems uh, and which ones don't. Okay, so which of my cams here like to cause problems? The heart cam, the hex cam, and the snail cam. The reason being is because when you do your mates for your assembly, it has a hard time choosing what you want to assemble. And so you can assemble when you do tangent mates a face to a face or a vertex to a face, but you can't do a vertex or a face to multiple faces, or at least not very easily. Sometimes, and we get lucky with the pair cam, is that if the transition is smooth, so this line, is, this edge right here for the pair cam, is a smooth transition. It's a 180 degree meet. That means when we do the assembly constraints or mates, we're, we're good to go on the pair cam, which is why we'd have to recreate one. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do some of these. All right, let's now do a fasten mate. Let's fasten this circle cam on this edge right here. We are going to flip our axes and we're gonna go ahead and give it an offset. Now this offset's going to be my first offset. Oh, let's put negative in there. Okay, and it should be aligned, doesn't look like it. 0 0.5, there we go. It would be on, uh, aligned with the front of our cam right here. 
let's do zig negative 0 0.375. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Hit the green check mark and it is lined up underneath it. For the sake of time, I'm not going to get this perfect. Okay. Next, we're going to do is our uh, eccentric kin. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our mate here, find the center of our circle here, and we're going to do an offset as well. That offset is going to be probably in the realm of negative 0, negative 1. Oh, close. Negative 0 0.75. Hey, there we go. All right. We're going to keep on going. Do another fasten mate for our pair cam. Right here. It's going to be offset just a little bit. And that's going to be, it uh, looks a positive this time because Z is going in the positive direction here in my picture. And that's going to be 0 0.8 of an inch. Ooh, let's try 0 0.2. That looks a little bit better. Okay. <clears throat> And let's keep on going forward. We have our hex cam next. Hex cam is going to go on. Now we run into a little bit of a problem here, is that parts like to get in our way. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and just hide some of these parts. So we've got the eccentric cam on there, we've got the circle, and we've got the pair cam. Now when I start to do some of my future constraints, they don't get in the way. So. Let's go and do a fast mate again. Let's do a hex cam and the center of this rod. Okay, rotate around just a little bit. See my Z is going to the right, so let's do an offset of a quarter inch. What will that do for me? Not close enough. There we go. Hit the green check mark and we're looking good. Okay, let's do another fast and mate. Do our heart cam. Fasten in the middle there, and Z is going to the right. So let's do an offset of, let's try one inch. Ooh, really close. One and an eighth, that looks fantastic. We're looking good to go. All right, and then last one, but surely not least, let's do the snail cam. So let's fasten the mate here. There we go. Now I've seen some, a couple of videos of people being very particular about planes and as long as you learn how to kind of manipulate it and use it as you need you can on the fly just get it to do what you want it to do so what i'm talking about is this z is to the right and i want it to move to the right so i'm going to give the z a positive number rather than negative number so i gave it negative five for example it moved to the left and if i give it positive five you know it moved to the right but if i got my planes backwards i would have to flip it so Okay, uh, clearly I don't need five inches. Let's try 1.5. Oh, 1.75. Okay, and that looks great. All right, let's bring all of our cams in. So we're gonna right click and show, show all. But we don't need to show our mates. So I'm gonna go ahead and just right click on one of my mates and hide all mates. Let's try that again, hide all mate connectors. There we go. All right, put an extra fastener in there, I don't need it. Okay, so what do we got here so far? If I've done this correctly, when I turn this, my all of my cams should revolve because it was a fastened mate. All right, so as I turn the crankshaft, or let's go ahead and animate this. Where's my Revolute? Right click, animate, put it on a loop, and hit play. All right, all of our cams are now in there. Okay, and they're doing exactly as expected. Now I like to use the circle cam as an example because it doesn't do anything. Uh, and this helps us see, kind of unpack what these other cams might do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. I'm gonna click exit out of there and we're gonna bring our follower rods in. All right, so let's go ahead and hit insert. Follower parts. Oh, but we don't the whole thing. We might need it once. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's just 
We can use as parts as we need. Yeah, I think we're good there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and also constrain my collars on. And then we'll call it done for this video. Or at least maybe we'll go ahead and get our followers ready. And then the next one will be kind of that in un, in depth unpacking of why we have to do what we do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple more fasten mates. We're going to fasten this to the top of this circle there. Hey, hey, there we go. Hit the check mark. Now, a little shortcut I noticed is you can just right click and you can copy and you can paste it so you don't need to pull it back in as you need so we can go ahead and fasten this mate just a little bit quicker I don't have to wait for anything because I just copy and pasted something that was already there now there is a way to repeat instance I really haven't unpacked that so if anybody has I would love to see that in action okay I'm going to go ahead and click on these two copy collar Let's paste it one more time. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Paste collar. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. Here we go, folks. Let's go ahead and just go crazy with the mates. Put that one there. Hit the check mark. Put this one here. Hit the check mark. And get all of our mates in there. Oh, I think I clicked on twice. Let's try that again. There we go. Hit the check mark. Check mark. And last but surely not least, check mark. Alrighty. There we go, folks. We have our collars put in, we have our cams put in. Let's go ahead and also get our um, follower feet ready, but um, we're gonna save that for the next video actually, because I'm actually going to change a little bit on how we do things, um, and then hopefully you can follow along. All right guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to shoot any comments, questions down below, down in the comment section. Uh, reach out in whatever way you need, and I'd love to help you out. This has been super fun, and I'm looking forward to some student projects. So if you if these videos have been helpful for you and they've been awesome, uh, please just let me know. Hey, Mr. Williams, this is what I made with mine, and I'm out in California. Um, I'd love to see some of those creations you made. So take care, and I will see you guys in the next video.